What's up guys, I'm Max, welcome back. Art is hard. Creativity is difficult, especially right now. I wanna show you guys a piece that ended up great, but started pretty rough. When I was staring at a blank page and couldn't make anything I liked, but I started moving my hand and it builds up momentum bit by bit to turn out to be one of my favorite pieces from the last couple of years. This, uh, this piece started out real ugly. <laughs> um, it's worth showing as much as I'm embarrassed by the way it started because it ended up being one of my favorite pieces. We all get stuck sometimes, right? And this piece started off with just a bit of automatic drawing, just a little bit of sketching, just to warm up, just to get the hand moving. And sometimes that leads to good ideas. This piece actually turned into me sort of just pushing a character design as far as I thought it could. Uh, became sort of a test bed for like really just exaggerating features to the point of breaking and trying to find some charm in them. He became kind of monstrous, but I, I sort of love that contrast of, of his ridiculous face and his like fun, casual uh, demeanor. I just kind of really came to love this guy and the more I pushed him, the more I liked it. So I was going for like really long and skinny, almost like you can see a skeleton and then you have these little balls of muscle and fat just sort of hanging off the bone. I really like that stuff. Um, and you know, like the swollen eyes and, and the crazy jowls, man, that stuff is just like so much fun to play with. So here I'm using my toothy inker from my Comics Max pack. Look, I, you know, I'm not supposed to have favorite brushes, but that is my favorite brush in that pack, hands down. That thing is a beast. It is my favorite thing to ink with. Uh, to this day still I think I have some other inkers that I'm fond of but I think that's like a desert island brush for me so uh, you can see it in play here it has just the right amount of tooth and it just gets this like nice pocket brush kind of dynamic line that's just really really easy to, to, to pull off you'll notice a lot of my marks have a bit of heaviness to them they have a bit of gravity to them just to give you that kind of sagging skin look it's kind of gross but it works but you know that's just a start for color, we need a lot of skin tone variation, especially cool colors, I think, go really well to help aid um, the effect of older skin. Um, it starts to look very pale and translucent. So that's, I've got a lot of like blues and purples and later I'll pull in some greens. Um, anyway, what you see here is I'm laying down a base with markers and then going in with a colored pencil from the same pack. So that's a great way to like, it's just what I would do in my sketchbook. Just kind of lay down a base and then scribble on top. And I'm using a lot of texture, a lot of hatching, because again, it kind of just adds texture, adds wrinkles without having to really make that super explicit. It just adds so much of a sense of just looseness and uh, and especially highlights get got a little bit patchy, um, a little spotty, so he looks kind of oily and translucent. It's all, it sounds gross to describe like this, but I think it ends up, hopefully you'll agree, with a sort of charming character, despite all of that. As we wrap up, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, check out my brushes, and I'll see you in the next one.